Hello everyone, welcome back to the bench. Well, I did another round of firing today with this reflex site. This is the one I got for $26 through one of those Facebook ads. Uh, no name brand, came in no name in the box. Even on the directions, no name. It's all, you know, it's one of them China specials. Anyway, I did two rounds, uh, two magazines a day, 60 rounds. And for the most part, it went fine. Uh, once it gets zeroed in, it's, it's pretty much dead on accurate. Uh, the biggest problem is not so much with the reflex side as it is with the mount. This mount has a tendency of getting loose, and it's a pretty good mount, too. It's pretty, but it throws it off zero. So you're constantly tightening up this thing down here so it can remain at zero. So the the reflex light, which is very cheap, is outperforming the very high-end AK mount. And as I said in other videos, the big disadvantage of the AK is ergonomics and accessories to it. It's a 1940s technology that you're still being used today. And back then, we didn't have lights, lasers, scopes. Well, we didn't have scopes. No red dots. All the stuff that we have now, we didn't have that back then. So, that's a problem when it comes to stuff like this. And, you know, of course, you can always try to mount it on the uh, dust cover itself, but the drawbacks to that, the dust cover has a tendency of being loose, and you'll have the same problem as this. Or you can put one down here, but you need something that's real durable because once this gets real hot, you could ruin the, uh, the red dot site. So, as far as the reflex sight itself it goes, it's done well. But as we've seen from other uh, AKs, the bigger problem is trying to keep the mount tight on this thing. Anyway, just want to give you a couple of quick update. I did have some shooting footage today, but it didn't come out good. So I'm not gonna bother with that. So I just figured I'd give you an update. I will be giving you another shooting update. Uh, just doing basic shooting, getting it zeroed in again, and then we'll start doing drills later on in the year with it. Uh, ammo still way too expensive right now, so I'm not going to do a whole lot with that. But would I recommend a reflex sight to try on your rifle? Yep, I definitely would. I love the reflex sight. And would I use it as a go to war one for $26? No, I'm not, but you know what? To expand with and uh, have fun to range with? Absolutely. Why not? So, I figured I'd just give you the update. I'm trying to pull up my camera equipment and they saw it didn't come out good, so I'm gonna hopefully go on the range tomorrow, give you another shoot video or sometime this week. Anyway, God bless you all. Keep your family safe. If you don't do it, no one else is gonna do it for you. We'll see you next video.